What if the sun was black? Approximately once every 18 months, a solar eclipse will occur. This happens when the moon passes directly in front of the sun. It's quite the spectacle. A total eclipse happens. If you want to get a glimpse at the cosmic phenomenon, you need a handheld solar viewer or special lenses. If you look at this thing with your naked eye, there's a chance at developing eclipse blindness or retinal burns. I myself have very minor retinal burns from looking at an eclipse when I was younger. This is a very real concern. You shouldn't ignore it. It's almost like you shouldn't look directly into the sun. Who would have thought? Short but sweet, these solar eclipses last only a few minutes. The sun is 400 times bigger than the moon, but the moon is also about 400 times closer to Earth. So, in turn, the moon is able to completely block off the sun. It casts this long cone of darkness towards us on Earth, where we then all stand outside for a few minutes questioning our existence and place in the cosmos. But what if the moon stayed in front of the sun? What if Earth never saw the sun again? Well, we also wouldn't see the moon either, which is an odd point to bring up. The only reason we can see it in our night sky currently is because sunlight is reflecting off of it. It would just all be black with a faint ring of hope glimmering in the sky. The stargazers out there would have a great time for a very short amount of time. The Earth's current temperature is about 300 Kelvin, but only after a couple of months it would cool down to 150,000 Kelvin, and then four months later, 75. Water freezes at 273, so it really wouldn't take long for us to figure out that we're not living this one out. But what about plant life? Most plants would of course die quickly due to a lack of photosynthesis, but with oxygen still in the atmosphere, some would stick around for a while. Crazy enough, a handful of massive trees would end up surviving for decades without photosynthesis due to their slow metabolism and sugar stores. With the Earth not having heat from the sun, the top layers of our oceans would freeze. But this is when science comes into play. The ice that freezes over the top layer of Earth would insulate the deep waters below and therefore prevent these oceans from fully freezing over for thousands of years. Even now, with our sun still turning and burning, we have these deep, dark, cold pockets on the ocean floor. But natural events on the ocean floor emit heat from the center of the Earth. So, although we're without a sun, our core will still keep us a little bit warm. The fish that live down there would probably continue living for a while. These deep sea dudes already live below the photic zone of the ocean. They've already adapted to enormous amounts of pressure, very little oxygen, minimal food, extreme colds, and again, zero sunlight. So what about humans? Can we do this? Is there even a small chance we can come out of this on top or alive? Well, it depends. Without vitamin D, humans are at risk to heart disease, cancer, osteoporosis, prostate cancer, colon cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, just all bad stuff. But we could perhaps live the way the beetles intended to in a yellow submarine. If we were in the deepest and warmest parts of the ocean, like those deep sea dwellers, we could survive. Or we could live in a geothermal powered habitat, like Iceland for example. Right now, Iceland is able to heat 85% of their homes using geothermal energy, and according to astronomy professor Eric Blackman of the University of Rochester, humans could potentially harness heat from volcanoes and live for hundreds of years. Just gotta charge my phone real quick and plug it into this volcano, BRB. A permanent solar eclipse would also mean that the moon has stopped rotating around the Earth. So without that trajectory and that spin, the moon would crash into the Earth, of course, destroying us moments later. Another possibility here is if the sun turned into a black hole. Luckily for us, scientists in the Czech Republic have been hitting the books trying to decide if humans could survive if we were orbiting a black hole. Interesting thought. The sun emits UV radiation and light. Energy is then carried through that to us, where it's then harnessed and used for plants or solar panels. If we were orbiting a black hole, we wouldn't get any of that light, but rather we would get gravity. Lots and lots of gravity. A black hole can be powerful enough to pull in radiation waves, so if our planet was just floating in space at a whopping negative 454 degrees Fahrenheit, it would still be warm enough to provide heat to our planet, believe it or not. If we were orbiting a black hole, this background radiation all around us could ideally warm the planet up a bit, so there is hope. You gotta love that sweet, sweet radiation. Now let's say our sun was black, or it was still covered, but we stayed warm, and more importantly, we stayed alive. What are the long-term effects on humans living in complete darkness? When you're in your room at night, you hit the lights, and then you take those slow, dark steps towards your bed. You're just hoping you don't stub your toe violently before packing it in for the night. And as you do this, your eyes begin to adjust. It takes a little bit of time, but after seven to 12 minutes, your photopic vision is pretty much cranked to the max. And then 45 minutes later, if you haven't scrolled through Reddit yet, your scoptic vision maxes out as well. Now you're asking yourself, is that a pile of laundry in the corner of my room? Or is there a burglar wearing six sweaters? You can see for the most part, but nothing compared to when the sun's up. Our bodies rely on light in order to tell when to release melatonin, and then in turn, go to sleep. Without that sunlight, we really won't know when to shut her down. Our bodies will eventually be sleep deprived until this fascinating point. If we lived in complete darkness, we would eventually adjust to this 48 hour day 
where we would stub our toes for 36 hours and then dream of lighter days for 12 more. While this probably won't happen anywhere near our lifetime, if the sun did turn into a black hole, it would only be around five kilometers long. The smallest black hole ever observed, even smaller than the now banished planet Pluto. Yeah, they gotta bring Pluto back in, man. Size doesn't matter, come on, not with planets. Even though it's a black hole, it would still contain the same mass as our sun. So we would still be orbiting the black hole, but we would still, you guessed it, be frozen. So say any of these options are a possibility. Which would you prefer? Would you rather live in complete darkness? Would you rather live in the freezing cold weathers? Or would you rather live in a submarine deep in the oceans huddled around four of your closest friends? Let us know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you for tuning in to Life's Biggest Questions. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters, and we'll see you next time. I literally do. I have a little half, like a little half crescent type burn in my eye that I can see over here. I look at like some dark spots. Cause I looked at the sun. Okay. I'm like, mm. the Earth's current temperature is about 300 degrees Kelvin. Mm, no. Water freezes at 230. Water freezes on Earth. Water freezes at 2. Hey, come get some sugar. Come on to your sugar store. I'm glad that the editors watched the video because it'd be so weird if I was like, it keeps it a bit warm. And you're like, what the f is that? Ew. <clears throat> What's this guy doing? This guy made of Goobsy Kool-Aid Man, high blood pressure, and you can be a Libra. No, we'll cut that last part out. That was a joke. And if we were orbiting a black hole, we wouldn't get any of that light. But why? Why am I saying but why the? But why the? Oh my God. <laughs>